would I would skydive in a pool filled with Pravanas wearing skin tight heavy leather su suit with just my ball sack exposed just to get, uh, find a clean lock of her hair one day rummaging through her garbage. This is Marley. She fell in love with controlling men's money. I make six figures a year telling men what to do. Marley has clients who pay to do her household chores. She gives me a task. I like to enjoy to do that. Bro, I hope there's not like a closet person in the chat that like pays for shit like this. I'll like, please show yourself now. Show it. Killing. I know it's you, mother. Killing is my business in the chat. I'm exposing you. I know you're this type of guy. You're the, you're the reason why women get a big ego like this. I know it's you. You're in here somewhere, motherfucker. Look, he said, this video is about me. What a fucking weirdo. It's so sad. Like, how does somebody like her, no offense, like, get men to, like, cater to her? Like, she's not pretty. 95% of my clients are white men. As a black woman, I see my work as reparations. But less obedient people on social media think that what Marley is doing is wrong. I was gonna have this white on a leash. Next thing I know, this just was like black. White what? What did she say? Doing is wrong. I was gonna have this white on a leash. Next. Oh shit! He's cheating, she's she's cheating them like dogs, like some some slaves. Like get over here. It's, it's, <laughs> some some white cracker. Some cracker. <laughs> Damn, she she's bringing back time right now, Chad. This is crazy. You know what's crazy, though? I don't even blame her, gentlemen. I blame the people that are just that rich that want to be used and want to spend that type of cash. I know this just was like blowing up, going crazy. There were some like people in my inbox calling me the N-word, saying you should be on a white man's leash. So I wake up in the morning, I go to see what men have sent money overnight, what men are inquiring about sending me money. They send me cash, they run my errands, they clean my apartment. Everything that I want in life, these men are there waiting hand and foot. My name is Mistress Marley. I am a woman that... You know this woman looks like straight butt cheek behind the makeup. I'm not even going to try to be a dickhead. But bro, what looks like you could just tell. Like she looked like butt cheek anyways. Imagine without the weight, like the makeup and stuff like that. Like straight butt cheeker. Like straight like butt cheek. Like I know she does. That takes money from men. They pay me just to be around me, just to speak to me. Who's gonna send me money today? I'm going out shopping. I need to be reimbursed. So boys, if you're watching this, make yourself useful. Send to my cash app. I don't need to pay for anything when I go out today. Everything is funded by you. I own your wallet, as you know. I started this work fresh out of... Hell no, bro. Hell no. Nah, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, and you know what's crazy? Men like that type of shit, chat. A lot of men like the kinks. Like, they like to be, like, shamed and be a slave and be given f cash. Like... Grad school. I took on a... Hold on. I'm bricked as f right now. Is that normal? I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and send you her cash app, brother Houdini. <laughs> yeah. It looks like you like this type of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and send it. I'm gonna send it your way, bro. Go ahead and donate her all your bank account. You know what? Give her your bank on RuneScape as well. Why not? Add that in with it. Why not, bro? In a corporate job, but I felt like the job, I wasn't really making any money from it. I was having a lot of anxiety. So out of curiosity, I just went online and I searched up how to make money online as a woman. Webcaming came up, but I wasn't really into webcaming. And I stumbled upon so many women that were pretty much having clients send them money for existing. I'm here now, six years later. This client, for example, is saying I'm going to empty his bank accounts. That's like a fun little thing we like to say. The ones that just like to talk and they haven't sent any money. Accounts. S send something bigger, smiley face. Oh my God. She's just like using them like some condoms. That's like a fun little thing we like to say. The ones that just like to talk and they haven't sent any money, I kind of just ignore them. The first amount of money that I ever got from a man, well, I had went out to eat and I had posted my receipt online, like reimburse my meal, it's $50. And then someone randomly sent me $50. And I was like, this is real. When I got that first send, I was like, okay, I need to take this more seriously. The biggest amount I've ever received from one client in an hour was $5,000. Every day. But who, who is that successful? That like, like not, not, never mind. Never mind. You're just not. Like, why am I even saying that? You're just not successful if you're just, if you're sending 5K to be shamed and be called a slave. Like, send it to me. It's my money now. I'm, I have your wallet. Like, bro, bro, well, like, it's actually so crazy. Like, they, they, they like being shamed, chat. Like, it's, 
That's great. Like, bro, you could buy a S tier, twenty out of ten, in red light district in in Amsterdam, for five hundred dollar chat. Don't ask how I know from Dami. Okay, I don't know why I just snitched on him. Sorry, Dami, if you're watching this. Yeah. <laughs> it's different for me. For instance, I have a client that sent me a thousand dollars to be unblocked. He wasn't living up to my standards. He was getting on my nerves. But still felt like he needed to be blocked. So then two hours later, he sent $2,500 and says, I will do better. But he might get blocked again because he's not doing better. Wait, what did she say? Wait. I have a client that sent me $1,000 to be unblocked. He wasn't living up to my standards. He was getting on my nerves, but still felt like he needed to be blocked. So then two hours later, he sent $2,500 and says, I will do better. But he might get blocked again because he's not doing better. What? It must be a, it must be a glitch. It, it must be. We don't thank our clients for sending money. They know they're supposed to send that money to me. I'm not thanking them for something that they're supposed to do. In total, I've probably had over 500 men send me money. I can earn anywhere between $3,000 and $5,000 weekly. And then yearly, anywhere. Yo, can we just talk, like, I, sorry for pausing once again, but can we just talk about how much the hot is making? Walla, like, all jokes aside, like, this girl looking, like, butt cheek, like, and Fiona and the ogre version. Imagine like the hot ones, how much they're making on the side doing shit like this. Oh my God, bro. Millions, millions, guys. Millions. Like that's crazy. 100K and up. And then you'll have some clients that will come to you and tell you directly what they're looking for. Like, I want to run your errands. I want to clean your apartment. So today I have Beta coming over. He's going to give me money for pretty much taking care of whatever I need done around the house today. Beta, you're finally here. It took forever. Yes. Hello, Mr. Small. Come in. Thank you. Today you're going to be cleaning my kitchen so you can take that stuff over to the kitchen. Okay. Move quickly. Okay. She gives me tasks. <laughs> I like to enjoy to do that. Everybody has some limits <laughs> and she respects that. So, what have you been doing in your free time? Been thinking of how you're going to serve me? Yes, Mrs. Louder. Yes, Mrs. Right, as you should. The cleaner my house, the better I feel. Faster, faster. It's always the white folk, bro. Like, come on, bro. These Alfies got to do better, bro. Like, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Come on now. These mother ruckers being a slave to this woman, being treated like shit. Oh, he's black. It's always the black folk. I swear to God. Every fucking time, gentlemen. It's always them. God damn it. Faster, <laughs> faster. I don't have all day. Go. <laughs> Compliment me. It looks wonderful. Tell me how beautiful I am. You are looking gorgeous, Mrs. I know. It's an honor to serve Marvelous. me, isn't it? Yes, Mrs. Exactly. I never feel like I'm taking advantage of Beta because anything that happens between us, I always communicate ahead of time. I always like to ask in advance, what's your schedule for the week? In what capacity can you serve me this week? Make sure I establish boundaries with the client. All right, move. Let's Let me see now. All right, that's much better. This is mutually beneficial because we're both getting something out of the arrangement. Sometimes I feel that uh, this is uh, the purpose of my life. That I Like, what do you mean that's your purpose? And being a slave? And, like, giving her money to clean her house? Yo, you know what's crazy? I'm sick of these women saying equal pay and stuff like that. Girl, woman. All the females in the world, you guys have a lot of power because of these simps. Start realizing that. A lot of you girls could just take off one piece of armor and that man will just fall for you and give him all your bank account. Okay? I mean, look at this ugly woman. She's sitting here, acting all over her face that looks like a drop party in Falador, red dots everywhere, and she's still got 500 men sending money. That's crazy. Like, uh, I need to... Uh do a service for women, uh, and especially for the for Mr. Smartly. Yes, I, I enjoy myself a lot. What do you give Beta as a reward? I mean, as a reward, he gets to be in my presence. Beta, I need a foot rest. My feet hurt. Thank you, Mrs. Good boy. I feel like a big reward too is like he gets to be. What? <laughs> Yo! Be around, around all these powerful women. Just being able to reward him by having him in spaces where he can also thrive too, as a man that likes to be controlled. I feel safe with her. Uh, 
uh, that if anything goes wrong, she's always there for me to protect me. You did a good job. Thank you, Mrs. I'll have you back next week. You can leave now. Thank you, Mrs. Goodbye, Mrs. Bye. Thank you. I have this bag of great little things. This right here is very important to me. So this was the first ever tool that I bought when I first started. And it has my name on it, and then it also has reparations on the back. 95% of my clients are white men. I've had men that say, you know, I want to pay you for what my race did. As a black woman, I see my work as... What? Nobody said that. She just made that shit up. Nobody said that. Chat, I guarantee you nobody said that. She's making shit up. That's a... That, that's what that is. Cap. She's hella making shit up. No, no. Reparations because <laughs> it is. The money that I make from this, I'm some... Actually, at this point, they probably did. Some way, somehow, always giving back to my community. I've done, like, backpack drives. I've done, like, holiday drives. And that's why I just like to, to include it in my work. This is a video that went viral of me at homecoming. And I had to let them know that's not my sugar daddy. That's a client that pays for that. The client had reached out and he was like, you know, I want to be walked on your leash at your homecoming. I went to a historically black college. So like, I knew it was going to be like all black people there and I was going to have this white f on a leash. Next thing I know, this just was like blowing up, going crazy. And there was some like- Nah, but that's weird. The way she like specifically chose a black college and then did that. Nah, well, that's weird. You can't say that's not weird, chat. That's weird. Well, she's weird for that. People in my inbox like calling me the N word, <laughs> saying you should be on a white man's leash. One person was like, it's one thing to do this at home with somebody you would care about. It's another to humiliate an old man. I'm like, you guys don't understand that he reached out to me. The client also loved it. Like I have a conversation with him where he was saying, I love being on your leash. You were bomb yesterday. Mm -hmm. There's valid concerns in like my client's state of mind. There are some potential clients I've had in the past that messaged me and I could tell they were not mentally in a good space. I think it's better to ask questions than to just assume. A lot of the criticism I get back is that I'm taking advantage. I'm taking from them because they don't know anything else. You figure out what they can afford through conversation. So like if you have that client that can only send for like coffee or like breakfast, you pretty much know like that's what they can afford. The judgment in the beginning when I first started was a lot because I wasn't used to um, being at the forefront, being so public facing. It's to the point now where it's like, I really don't care. They're still gonna have their opinion. At the end of the day, it's not gonna change. So the best thing I could do at that time for my mental health was just block them. I also make money by throwing educational events for women that want to get into this type of thing. Hi ladies, I'm Mistress Marley and today I'm going to be giving you the top three tips on how to get men from money. Get men from money. <laughs> That's a new one. I throw them all over the world. Um, so women come together, we network, we learn how to do this work safely. Are you more sadistic? Are you more powerful? Are you more nurturing? You need to figure out who you are in this space. There have been like comments surrounding like, am I promoting something dangerous? That's why I'm really, really big on teaching about safety, teaching about vetting each client. The warnings that I like to give women coming into this industry is not to have money. <laughs> you can just tell there's a guy that's forwarded in my chat and he just said, you are a scammer. You are a scammer. You're like, L listen, your safe is, listen, your secret is safe with us. We know you were one of those guys. It's okay, large lows. We'll protect you, bro. Listen, just don't go back ever there again. No. No, bro. No, no. It's okay, bro. Never. What the? No, no. Unrealistic <laughs> expectations because some of them come in and they think they're going to make $5,000 their first day. And it's not always like that. Another warning I like to give too is to just be careful about who you're speaking to. There are some men that will try to scam you. Making sure you're not giving out any personal information, anything that can be identifying, just really protecting yourself. Wait, somebody just linked me a Twitter post and I think it has to do with this video, so I'm curious to see it. Oh, that's her on the on the black college with the white man on a leash. Oh my God, he's petting him. She's petting him. She said, get up. Oh, she looks like she thinks she looks so badass. Look at the way she's standing. Oh no. Wait, North Carolina? Listen, gentlemen, I may live in North Carolina, right? But I am not one of her customers. I, I listen, left hand up. Ohm's law, gentlemen. <laughs>